Hello again. I wonder if you've ever fallen out with your family or a friend so badly that you felt really all alone. If you have, I hope for you that it didn't last too long. But in our story today, we're going to hear what happened after Jacob played a terrible trick on his father and his brother. The story's called Jacob's Dream. Jacob was in trouble. Jacob was in a lot of trouble. He tricked his father Isaac into giving him the special blessing which was really only meant for the elder son. So his father was angry with him and disappointed by his trickery. And he tricked his brother Esau out of the special blessing which really belonged to him. So Esau was furious, furious enough to kill his twin brother. Their mother Rebecca was afraid. She was afraid Esau really would kill his brother. And Jacob, well, Jacob was terrified. He needed to get away. With Rebecca's help, he packed some things. And with Rebecca's help, he told his father that he wanted to find a wife from the family tribe. So Isaac and Rebecca sent Jacob away on the long, long journey to stay with his uncle Laban. There he'd be safe from Esau's anger and he could find a wife from the family tribe. But he had to say goodbye to his beloved mother and his father. Well, after travelling all day, Jacob began to get tired. Unlike his brother Esau, who could go out and hunt all day, Jacob was used to being in the tents with his mother. He preferred to be comfortable, warm in the winter, cool in the summer. But out here in the wilderness, he felt very alone. He missed his mother. He missed his father. He even missed his angry brother. And he certainly missed his comfortable bed. He wrapped himself up in his cloak and wondered where he could lie down to sleep. The ground looked so uncomfortable. Eventually, he found a place without too many sharp stones or ridges. He wriggled about, trying to make the hard ground fit his body. Finally, he put his head on a stone to make it feel as if he had a pillow. He was sure he'd never get to sleep. But the long journey and the sadness had exhausted him, and soon he was asleep and dreaming. And he dreamt. Jacob dreamt a strange and a wonderful thing. He saw a ladder, like a great staircase. It stretched up and up into the sky. He knew it was going all the way from the earth where he was lying to the heavens where God lived. He could see angels, beautiful, shining people, going up and down the ladder between heaven and earth. And then Jacob heard a voice. Since it came from heaven, he knew it was God's voice. God could see him. He wasn't alone after all, and God was speaking to him. Jacob, said the voice of God, I am the God of your father Isaac and of your grandfather Abraham. You are lying asleep on ground I have promised to give to your family tribe forever. You will have as many children and children's children, and children's children's children, as there are grains of dust on the ground. And all this country will be theirs. Remember, I love you, and I will always be with you. You will go away from this land, but you will come back safely, and I will look after you forever. 
Jacob woke up suddenly. The dream still hung about him and he knew he'd never forget what God had said. He was still afraid, but now it was in a good way. This is where God lives, he said in wonder. This is like the gateway to heaven. So Jacob used his pillow stone and some others to make a memorial. He called the place Bethel, the house of God. Now everyone would know that this was a place where God had appeared. If God really takes care of me like he promised, then I will choose to follow him as my God forever, Jacob declared. Well, Jacob thought he was all alone in the wilderness, but he discovered that God had been watching him all the time and he wasn't ever going to leave him. Jacob also discovered that heaven is much closer than we often imagine. Those angels were going up and down all the time between earth and heaven. God is really interested in what's going on in all our lives. And Christians believe that he shows that by sending his son Jesus, who is a bit like that ladder between heaven and earth, because he makes it possible for us to connect with God. Now I'm going to say a prayer. If you want to make it yours, you just say Amen at the end. And then I'm going to say the prayer that Jesus taught us. So let's pray. Dear Father God, thank you that you are always with us and always interested in our lives. Thank you that even if we do wrong things like Jacob did, when we say sorry, you're able to forgive us and we are always your beloved children. Thank you for sending Jesus to make a way between heaven and earth. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. Well, there's quite a bit more of the story of Jacob and of his children and what happens to them in the Old Testament part of the Bible. And I hope over the next few weeks I'll be able to tell you some more of those. So keep an eye out and in the meantime, God bless you and keep safe. Goodbye.